Say three, two, one, action. <laughs> drink it's is for drink. drink. Remember that time I, I got you guys the uh, the Johnny Walker Johnny blue? Walker. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the FedEx first class package. Or Big J said, "Boy, then boy, they drink it up." <laughs> <laughs> now you should commit though, D. It's a challenge, bro. Man, love new pum pum. <laughs> and I thank God for that. Bro, Monique got the that. best pussy I ever had. You know, you sound like high enough to know. Buju. Nah. I'm not pussy with him though, bro. That's the difference. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't edit this part out. It's the fucking white rabbit. You will never catch that motherfucker. Yo, I didn't know you were gonna fuck my mind up like that. Come on, man. We don't fuck with you, man. Fuck. And we don't fuck with you. That was that question, though. All right, all right. <laughs> I've always wanted to learn more about my family, so I've decided to ask them five questions, which will paint a better picture of who they are and bring us closer together. Welcome to another edition of Family Fuckery. All right, here we go. You know who this is. Mr. Miller, the 40-year-old data. And today's episode, we got... Yeah, Tony Miller. Who are you to me, bro? Your little cousin. I'm 30 years old. Bop. I was born in Hartford, Connecticut, but I'm from uh, Tampa, Florida, but really Riverview, Florida. Living in Waimama. Bye bye. Um, I mean, I'm open, but most people know. All right, interesting fact that most of us wouldn't know is I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. It, it, this is going to be a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's your impressions of me? Big D. I guess Big you should die. I don't pause. No, pause! Uh, I've always looked up to you for real. Bop. I've always admired you. You always been um, a person that was interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? Through, throughout <laughs> different areas in our life. <laughs> but nah, nah, most, most of the inspiration though, I look up to all my big cousins and, and for different reasons. Yeah. And yours is, you know, your fortitude, you are who you are, mm -hmm. outspoken. I knew him when we used to call him Daffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make your own conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> super intelligent, super stand-up loyal guy. He's one of a kind, man. Like like people who look at him be see the stature, the the the, the size, the tattoos, the the right, lingo. Right, the, right. Dude, he's one of the most cool, yeah. laid back, loyal people you ever meet in your life, bro. For sure. What is your earliest memory as a child? Traveling on the road. Mm. We used to go in these big old vans and just take trips. The dollar van, bro. The dollar vans, take trips. You know, when grandma was still here, God bless. And we used to just, uh, just ride out as a fam. Mm -hmm. No matter where it was, mm -hmm. and just every weekend we was in New York. You know, we lived in Connecticut, but mm -hmm. every weekend we was in New York. So that memory in itself was just always being so family oriented mm -hmm. that it's always stuck with me. Every weekend, like you said, we drive to to New York, or they come mm -hmm. to us. So we'd always like this. Every yeah. summer we was like this. Yep. School year we didn't really know each other like that. Yeah, right, right. But School year, you had a head summertime. Business. We got, time. I remember just like when March hit, we like, fuck, man, yeah, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to cousin. Man, yeah, you get to tell us what happened the whole previous year. Yeah, you know, been through yeah. Everybody. But yeah, that's For a real. dope memory, bro, because we used to travel a lot, bro. Yeah. yeah. All, up, all up the East Coast. That's yeah, the that, thing. That, that's, that's my memory that holds the most is just that traveling and always just with that unity. That's no matter dope. what we ran into, it's just like we just made it happen. Memories only live like people do. What's your fondest memory of the family? It's, it's, it's blended, mm. but like, yeah, our barbecues and stuff, our parties, bashments, and the uh, baby showers, weddings. Dude. You know what I'm saying? People, you don't get it, man. They used to live in East Hartford, and every mm. summer, there was a huge party. Everybody brought their little, little niece, their little cousin. Mm. It was literally like 40, 50 people coming to this barbecue, deep, bro. Deep. And we, yeah, yeah. every year we wanted it because we was like, which back, which girl we going back? <laughs> yeah, 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 I was in that age group. Yeah. Nah, you I were, see what was going remember on. Remember the room downstairs? <laughs> remember we had, sorry, Faith, but I have to tell your name. <laughs> remember Faith? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Non-disclosure. Hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a good girl. Mm-hmm. She probably a different person now. Yeah, completely. Different. But back God, in the God day, so, yeah. she was yeah, a good girl. Yeah, everybody got a history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. What's your fondest memory of me? I think it was one summer. You know, we had moved to Florida. Yep. I think you were mm-hmm. still enrolled in the University of Hartford. And we okay. came out to visit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we was on campus at an early age on yeah. dorm. And, and that, that whole lifestyle was just captivating to me. And like, you know, I had to, I always wanted to relive that. Yeah. And I, you know, kind of did to a wilder extent. Yeah, but that just held that whole lifestyle. I just remember, you know, going to the gym, you know, watching y'all play basketball. Bop, 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 bop. You know, watching you dunk and shit. I was amazed by that shit. I used to think you look just like Dominique Wilkins. You had the post up and shit. And yeah. You, you dunk like him. Da, 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 da. And then, uh, oh yeah. No, no, I was a dope master. You ain't gonna lie. No, no. I used to, I you used had to get up. the fucking pumps. You used to, uh, used to, the I shoes. used to get up. You had the shoes with the uh, with the platforms. Yeah, I used to get whoa, up there. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Not Me the and I wear no platform no platform no, no, shoes. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, the jump song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That was Buju yeah. and yeah, I. Buju, yes. You used, to, yes. you used to live off that shit. Mm-hmm. That shit really worked, though. But yeah, that's my fondest memory of you, though. Just you. Yeah, you, you know, when, when me and my brother came up there, uh, <laughs> and every time we was around you, you just embraced us and always took us out and showed us what the real was. I learned it from your dad. Yeah. yeah your dad was always cool like that. Yeah. Your dad was, I'd be like 16, be like, yeah, I want to go to the store. He's like, here's the keys. I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just always was just like, yo, yo can't, hang out, can't wait to hang out with Big Cousin D, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You'll come home from class and like, hey, what's up, guy? What we doing today? All right, that's right. You know what that's I'm saying? It. You're probably going to a little shorty house. You know, these my little cousin. Yeah. <laughs> they they learn. Learn. Yeah. Finish your talk, go ahead. This is why I ain't got no kids. <laughs> Tell me something funny. I do certain things I week. No, you don't. Yes, I is. No, you don't. Yes, I is. So yeah, my fondest memory of this dude was he came to Connecticut. Hold on, what was it? It was, it was me, you, and Buju, and we went to the 960 Main Club. And for whatever reason, the security tech set upon me, which means he was picking on me for whatever reason. Oh yeah, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he takes set upon me, and I'm like, dude, relax. Not knowing my two cousins that are this size are waiting outside for me because they're like, yo, D, I'm outside, it's let out, I need to go holler at someone. So there's doors, middle, then outside. So I get to the middle part and I see Tony like, yo, match is outside, bro, you gotta come on. I'm like, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And Tony sees him push me. All I saw was eyes and his eyes said this, say less. <laughs> like, yo, for my cousin, yeah. I'll go back in. And I was like, yo, cool. Yeah, instantly. Yeah. I don't know if it was smart or dumb at the time, but yeah, that's just the mentality I had. How does it feel to be a husband and father? It feels like you have a greater purpose. It adds that extra oomph in my life, that extra motivation, mm. that extra purpose to keep it going. The husband part. I'm not comparing it at all, but it's an equal thing because um, it's another person that also relies on you. That person is who you always need to, you know, nurture. Because that's what love is. You got to nurture that person, they nurture you, and you survive together. So as a husband, it's it's a big responsibility because I have to fulfill my duty. I have to take care of my spouse. Uh, You know what I'm saying? But it's not an easy thing. I, I... I fall short many times, but I never give up. And that's the main thing. There's not somebody out there for everybody. You don't believe that? <laughs> no, no, no. That's fantasy. <laughs> I didn't say not you. The, the key to it is both people have to want it, but not want it for the sake of wanting it. They got to want it for each other. Because a lot of people like the idea of marriage. Absolutely. A lot, a lot of people like the, the, the structure, the security. Mm-hmm. But what does it really take to wholeheartedly love a person Day in and day With out. Flaws. With flaws. With flaws. With flaws. flaws. You have to have that steady relationship with God. When you're marrying another woman, it's not just her, mm. it's her family. So that's why God has to be the main structure because only to bring that together because she's also taking on all your fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> there always has to be a compromise. Always has to be 
a compromise. All the way in on my marriage. And I love my marriage. And I won't do anything but commit myself to my marriage. Bop, bop, bop. You see what bop. I'm saying? What went wrong that landed you in prison? So I was always family oriented. Our family, you know, we was always good. You know, grandma always kept us a good base. We all know Jesus Christ and we all realize this was it. One of the main decisions that changed a lot was mm. the introduction of Reefy. And that's the fucking truth. And that kind of got mixed in with the, you know what? Yeah, the school shit started getting too easy now. All right, I'm transitioning into, I'm about to go to school, like college, mm -hmm. and I'm getting a lot of offers. Scholarship, I stopped about, playing, stopped playing football. Segue back to this is about 2016, 2017, 20, 2006. So this is where, you know, I started getting introduced to these different drugs. Cause the whole final year of my high school year, I had enough credits and everything to already go to college. Gotcha. I had like, I told you, I smart. Had, I had half. I have half. Is the, smart. I had half the credits to have an associate's degree already. Yeah. So that final year was just a wash, and I always started school early, so I was only sixteen years old. Mm. So there was just me and the world. Right. And I chose the wrong way. All right, let me ask you that. What was your motive to wanting them? Because your parents provided. We never struggled for anything. No, our parents were never poor, never anything. Our allowance was twenty dollars a week. Ooh. And 10 of that had to go to lunch money. So the other 10, me and my brother was gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you talked to him a little bit ago. My brother, like, we almost like twins. They might as well be, man. Yeah, <laughs> they might like, as well. Like we inseparable. Yeah. We unbeatable. Yeah. We, we lovable. They do everything we're together. Not, yeah, we, we just, we're, just a, we're just good people. Yeah. But we flipping that, you know, we buying gear. We close to and fly. We both want best dress, by the way. Florida is, is, is big, really big and really looking big, fly. Really big, really big, yeah. really fly. So that's so Connecticut, not so much. It turned into, you ever seen that movie Juice? You got the juice. I got the Your juice. Your cue. So then I started embodying that lifestyle. Mm. Florida public school is a joke. You know what I'm saying? The way I wasn't. Challenging enough, I wasn't engaged enough. Like I graduated with a 4.2 and still walked across the stage. Full disclosure, high on cocaine. So school was just that easy to you that you were just like, this is bullshit to me. Yeah. I used the school as a front. You get better to get this fast money. So that was my mentality at the time. So where it went wrong was I, I took that mentality 100% to heart. Mm -hmm. So I just started taking I wasn't robbing good people. I was robbing, robbing all drug dealers. And you robbing people. hood now. <laughs> yeah, I robbed. And then from there, it was just a snowball effect. Fuck, man. Serious issue. So how long How long you in? All right, so I was facing a PBL, punishable by life. But um, Life? Yeah, I was life sentence. Um, two people got shot, so I got attempted murder charges, uh, armed robbery charges. Fuck. And uh, they moved a certain amount of feet, so I had some kidnapping charges as well. Hmm. But um, my parents, they have money. America. He was able to give me a youthful offender statue. Which it should have been without money, by the way. You need to stop doing this to our poor black kids. Right, and right. Youth. He was actually a smart kid, right. 4.2. So yeah, so they, they did that, you know, God bless. Just within myself, I was just embarrassed to live how I was and just turn my life around. And that's why I am today. You heard it from the donkey mode. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite family member and why? Favorite grandma, my favorite, uh, yeah, my grandma. No, they gotta be alive. My wife. Mo, you get the, you get the pass, but beyond them. I was just saying my parents as a package. Wow, okay. Yeah, our parents, they're, 
I, I can't say enough about my parents, but I will say some words because that's that's a cop out when you say I don't have no words. To say. Right. So the words I gotta say about my parents. <laughs> I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You, mommy, daddy, you guys never gave up on me. Wow. And I love you. And I'll never disappoint you. I know I never have, even though I made some bad decisions. You mm. know where it came from. You know what my heart is. You know what I'm capable of. Mm. You know what my purpose is. I'm going to fulfill it. Mm. And I love you guys. What could you change if you could? All right, the conundrum is I don't want to go against what God already got in set, right? But I don't want to be here as far as America. Where would you be? Amongst my people. I feel like Marcus Garvey was really on some shit. Spend some time, listen to some of his speeches, read some of his writings. Man. And I just really articulate what he's saying. I'd rather be an African than an African-American. We had we were slaves to some millers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some mills. Some white boys. Didn't they say that some crackers auntie, owned some mills? I mean, grandma. The Irishmen. Yeah. 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 Pop sound. Yeah, we we. Man, we, we got we, some we, in us too. Yeah, like Chinese. Oh. We are oh, some oh, oh, descendant oh. of slaves. I said. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for the family? I could narrow it down in two words, but I'm gonna elaborate. Okay. Stick together. All right, so it's not all about the money, but we gotta start making economic moves together. There's enough of us in the family that have enough resources to where we can mm. be further than we are today. Mm. Bro, everywhere I go is a gravitational pull of people. It's a leader thing. Absolutely. And I embrace it because I have a lot to offer to people. Wow. I have a lot to tell the people because I love the people. Yeah, that's the thing, we love so, humans. So within our family, it's yeah. always been like that. Yeah. We have large statures. We're not aggressive beings. No. We're knowledgeable. If we stick together, we could build something greater than we can really conceive. The Meyer King Miller. Ba, ba, ba. Even a Meyer, you look that up. That's a leader in Arabic. A prince, mm -hmm. a leader, a Meyer, King Miller. All your name means something. Wow. Because when I created you, that's what, that's what it was about. We have that power, and I think it's time for us to embrace it. This generation should. Yeah, yeah we got to give them the Be rich kids. So what would you wish for me? You seek that queen and find that queen. Not necessarily seek her, but that you find her. That I believe in it. Not every king requires a queen, mm. but I just wish for you to get a queen. Bop, 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 bop. Appreciate it. Do you have any questions for me? I got a few questions. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you honestly believe that the Buccaneers is not going to win the Super Bowl next year? Man, did you see what happened to the Titans? Titans are, Titans Julius, are. Julio Jones, bro. All right, all right. Bro, all right. Full, full holy disclaimer. smokes. Huh? Titans are a threat. Golly. Okay. But when you're talking to a guy with two, man, so how much is it? Seven rings? I don't think we're too worried about that. And wait, and we still don't know where Aaron Rodgers is going. He might land somewhere, but I don't think he's going to sit out. I think he's gonna. Sit I think out. I think that's true because I think he's gonna Green Bay's not gonna year, give him up. He's gonna sit out one year and then he's gonna land somewhere else. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's that one sports question. And the second question I got for you mm. is: Are you moving to Florida or are you going back to Canada? Let me tell you, women love me in Florida. <laughs> 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 I ain't talking about people, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so they're making it hard. And it's like, it's always warm here. Always hey, warm. And I love man. every time my family and family, man. Florida, man. And family, man. Like, we got it, but we stayed together, man. From when I left Canada when I was 18 and I came here for for uh, school, from, from the head down, mm -hmm. which is grandma, they've mm -hmm. always showed that's how you treat family, bro. Sure. I'm always available to you no matter, no matter what. what. 
Family is the most important thing in life. Baba. On this earth. I think that's the best way to tie it up. Life is about family. People, this is Family Fuckery. Always remember to like, comment, share, but most of all, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this episode, I challenge you to share it to two other people that you think would enjoy this. Big up my guest, my cousin, Tony Montana. I've been sipping, sipping and I'm leaning and I'm leaning and I'm sipping and I'm dancing and I'm tripping, getting down and I'm dipping, looking good while I'm tripping.